Mr. Trump, you said something incredibly controversial and terrible. Let me remind you of what it was. Do you have any regrets or thoughts on how terrible you were? Trump answers. Vice President Harris, how bad is Trump? And then she'd answer. It happened over and over again. Um, But the reality is, is like there's no place for her to go anymore. Like there's nothing. She she tried to pivot to daytime TV. But uh, if you recall, she like got, you know, she left Fox News. She was on the Today Show, I think. Yep. Megyn Kelly on her podcast went into a rage over what she felt was unfair treatment by the moderators in the debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin broke this all down on their show, The Majority Report. We're going to take a look at clips of Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin, as well as Megyn Kelly flipping out in her defense of Donald Trump. I'll share my thoughts here from time to time. Let's get into it. The reality is not that he got tricked by an internet hoax that immigrants are eating cats and dogs. It's that he is trying to spur the racism and the xenophobia of his uh, political movement to get out and vote because, and just using sort of narratives that stoke that. But it's gonna come across as he's a crazy old man, which, okay, uh, I think that might be, you know, effective uh, in many respects because sort of you know his racism and xenophobia is sort of built in but the other thing you the thing you're going to be hearing in right-wing circles for um i think for the next week is what you hear from megan kelly right here and megan kelly is really crazy here it's like she's bleeding from everywhere here. exactly <laughs> because those two moderators try to sink donald trump tonight the numerous fact checks on what he said and none on what she said. None. I don't remember a single fact check of anything she said and she lied repeatedly. She just got away with it. In the moderator's eyes, that was Donald Trump's job to fact check her. That's correct. Except you didn't employ that same tactic when it came to Trump. And you accused him of lying even when it was your opinion that he lied. When Trump tried to say that his comment that he lost 2020 by a whisker was him being sarcastic, David Muir actually injected saying, I didn't hear sarcasm. Who gives a shit what you heard? Whoa. Who died and let, left you political analyst in chief? You're supposed to be the objective news anchor of World News Tonight. That's a comment you make to your significant other, David. Not on the debates. I don't, it didn't sound like that to me. Shut up. That is inappropriate. It's not for you to make that call. Leave it up to Kamala Harris. Leave it up to people like me who will play the soundbite and let the audience decide. But you were out of line and they did it to him over and over and over again. And the worst, the worst piece of all of this is the obvious tactic by ABC News, which was as follows. Mr. Trump, you said something incredibly controversial and terrible. Let me remind you of what it was. Do you have any regrets or thoughts on how terrible you were? Trump answers. Vice President Harris, how bad is Trump? And then she'd answer. It happened over and over again. So, I mean, this is uh, just incredible to see because she, there was a whole freaking movie made about bombshell, about the sexual harassment at Fox News and her her being victimized by it and like her basically being forced out because she was adversarial to Trump and because of the fact that she ended up speaking out about what Roger Ailes did to her and, and other women as well. Um, but the reality is, is like, there's no place for her to go anymore. Yeah. Like there's nothing. She, she tried to pivot to daytime TV, right. but uh, if you recall, she like got, you know, the, she left Fox news. She was on the today show, I think. Yep. Emma Viglin is correct with what she's saying here, but Megan Kelly has found her lane. I don't think it's, I mean, this is just my guessing, but I don't think she's probably happy where she is. But she got kicked out of the club of mainstream media, and now she's online, and based on the views that she's getting, she's making a ton of money, I'm sure. But she's just a grifter going after MAGA. That's that's all she's doing now. You know, she 
pretends like with what she's saying there that she's somehow objective when all of the videos that she makes are just pro-Trump. She's just there to defend Trump. And when Donald Trump says things like immigrants are eating people's pets, any decent moderator is going to fact check that because it's just a conspiracy theory and a lie. There's no truth to it. So Megyn Kelly has gone all in on being a grifter. She's probably bitter that she's not in the club and probably not getting invited to the same parties in Washington, D.C. and New York that she used to be when she was on one of the networks, either Fox or NBC. You know, Fox pretends, tries to pretend like they're alternative media when they're not. They're part of mainstream media now. But she's just a grifter who has found that the audience that she's had to go after to do her grift is... MAGA and defending Donald Trump at all costs. That's what she does now. There's no objectivity at all with Megyn Kelly. And uh, she sucked because that's like what that Hoda and those women and stuff. That's for like making people happy and showing videos of cats and she and and she or or what recipe you should do for Halloween or whatever. And she is a cold person who also was a bigot and ended up uh, ha- leaving that that network because she's made a, like a bunch of past racist comments about Santa being white or whatever. Like she's a right winger, but she tried to pivot and failed. And now there's no there's no place where she can she can carve out that middle ground. Right now she's just taking Tim Pool. I mean, now honestly, she's, she's got a, a she's got to interview host, Dave host. Rubin multiple yeah. times. That I'm not sure anybody deserves that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's doing. She flopped and then she has to be a right. She just has to be a standard Republican now because there's no way to differentiate yourself here. She's sucked back into the Trump black hole because she has to make money. I I think that she may have a point with Muir saying it didn't sound sarcastic to me. I think really what would have been more appropriate for him to go like, really? Really? I'll be honest. I just watched it, and it did not sound sarcastic. Well, yeah, do you I'm have it? Shocked. Let's yeah, put it up. I, let's, put it I mean, let's, let's be, yeah. let's, let's be, let's let the people decide. Because, of course, you know, saying it's sarcastic, um, I, I guess if you're Muir, you could have said, well, in what way is that sarcastic? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. But here is the, uh, here is the uh, original clip. Oh, I see it. At a Moms for Liberty event. I mean, honestly, we had millions of more votes than we did in the first election. We did great in the first one. We won. And I was told we got 63 million votes in the first election. I was told if we got 60, 63 million votes, same number, there's no way we can be defeated. I got 10 or 12 million votes more than that, more than anybody had ever got. We got the most votes of anybody, of any sitting president in history. And he beat us by a whisker, and it was a terrible thing. They used COVID to commonly, I mean... Oh, wait, oh, he says uh, it was a terrible thing, and they used COVID as if, like, if it was sarcastic, you wouldn't start listing why you got beat by a whisker. Yeah. Didn't sound sarcastic to me. That it that didn't sound sarcastic to me either. I'm not even clear. Um, kind of surprised, actually. Yeah. This is the go-to thing with MAGA is anytime Donald Trump gets called on anything or, or any Republican politician, period, or politician pundit, you know, they could say it's raining outside when it's a sunny day and they get called on that for lying or being wrong with what they're saying. And then they just say, oh, it was a joke. It was sarcasm. The left doesn't understand humor. You know, that's their go-to thing on everything. I'm sure there have been people, I mean, they, they seem all in on the immigrants eating cats and dogs thing, but I'm sure there's a pundit somewhere who's just said, obviously this is just a joke. The left just doesn't understand humor. This is one of their, you know, their go-to things with MAGA. Anytime Trump says something controversial or wrong or he makes a gaffe, That was just a joke. But back to Megyn Kelly for just a second. What do you think about Megyn Kelly? Is it all just a grift now? I mean, that's what I think. She she couldn't make it, as Emma Viglin pointed out here, she couldn't make it uh, on Fox. She couldn't make it on NBC. I mean, she was really, that was NBC's fault. They really screwed up by trying to give her a daytime show 
when a daytime show is supposed to be light and she's not light at all. But now she is in the grift of, you know, she's in here with Temple and like they, Sam Cedar brought up Dave Rubin. She's in with those kind of people like that, where it's nothing but defend Donald Trump all the time. It's going to be interesting. Interesting to see what happens with all of these shows. I mean, they'll still be able to complain about how everything's woke in their mind and all of that. But it'll be interesting to see if Donald Trump loses and then in six months or so, none of the Republican, you know, they're all going to pretend like they never supported him. So it's going to be interesting to see what Megyn Kelly will have to talk about when she can't do every video every day trying to defend Donald Trump. There's only so many videos that she can do about trans people in the Olympics or whatever. But what do you think? Uh, did Megyn Kelly have any kind of a point about the moderators that they were against Trump and in the bag for Kamala Harris? Or is it as Sam Cedar and Emma Vigland are saying here, she... She's a loser. She's now had to pivot to defending Trump at all costs. And that's the way that, you know, it seems like she's making a good living from that. But that's what she has to do to make money. Let me know what you think in the comments about Megyn Kelly, Sam Cedar, Emma Vigeland. Anything else you want to comment about? Make sure to give me a like and subscribe. My channel's growing really quickly. I'd like to continue to grow the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. That will help me to bring out more content like this. This is Chris on Culture. I will see you in the next video.